Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nicolina Nick, and I am a Regional Vice President in Qualifications and Independent Consultant with Arbonne International. Tonight, we have the amazing Kevin Duffy, uh, who will be helping us out. And we are going to do some Instagram posting and story training. This is part one of the series. And we're going to keep it to about 20 minutes. So we'll do questions after the recording. And uh, if you are watching the recording, please reach out anytime. Uh, we really appreciate you for joining us. And we'll um, really hope to help you out with all the new features of Instagram. Take it away, Kevin. Hey guys, how you doing? Kevin Duffy here. Uh, we're gonna give you a quick tutorial as Nicolina mentioned on Instagram and how I use the story method or the story feature to build my business with the 30 days to healthy living. So jump right in. Uh, I'm gonna be just angling here to show you guys. So I'm gonna open up the Instagram app. This is on my homepage. All right, so this is your feed. This is the feed, like the highlights of your week or of your month. Um, and we're going to dive into the story part, which is at the top, which is this part here, which slides left and right. So the algorithm programs um, to show you who you uh, follow the most and who you interact with the most. And I'm going to show you how to add photos there and make a story. So let's go. If you guys want to search, uh, I'm going to show you how to take my story and make your own story. So you go up the home button down here, the house uh, is home, this magnifying glass is search. So we're gonna hit search, we're gonna go to the top bar, I'm gonna type in my handle is H-A-M-M-A-D-U-F-F. -F. So I should come up there on the top. So click my name and you'll come to my profile, my homepage. So this is my feed, right? These are all my highlights from like the year. Uh, these pictures stay there forever. The pictures in your story only last 24 hours. So if you want to watch my story from today, you just click on my picture and this is going to start you from the beginning. So I did a good post today about the 30 days to healthy living. Uh, a couple of screen features. The left side of the screen is rewind. The right side of the screen to tap is fast forward. And when you have something you want to read, just hold the middle anywhere in the middle and that will stop the timer. There's a little timer on the top that you can see all those little dashes. Those are the time you have about 10 or 15 seconds that the story actually shows before these things will keep popping up. So I'll let my story play right now and these will keep adding, right? And the screen will keep changing every 10 seconds. So this is my story viewer are gonna watch it without doing anything. So say you want to rewind, right? The left side of the screen might be opposite when you're watching this, but tap, tap, we'll go back, 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 back. And then to fast forward and rifle through, you can just keep tapping through here. And it shows like a, make, it basically makes like a little, like a flip movie, right? So this is my whole story from today. We're going to talk about how to do that. So let's go um, back to the beginning and what we're going to do. So I'm going to, you can see my name in the top. If you put your finger down and hold for two seconds, it should disappear. See how my name disappeared. So now it's just the picture, right? So this is an iPhone seven S plus. I'm going to hit the top screen up here and the, and the home button at the same time. It's however you do to take a screenshot, which is I think the same on most iPhones. So let's take a screenshot like that. And I'm going to swipe it and save it to my photos. That's in my album, right? So now the next picture, you want to get rid of my face? Here, we missed one. Hold it down. That disappears, right? I'm going to hit this button and the bottom button. Screenshot. So you can do that for every single picture. Ah, sorry. Because you don't want to screenshot this. And then you're going to repost and my little picture is going to be up there and it's going to say your name at the top and then it's going to say my name at the bottom. So just for aesthetics to make it clean and you'll get rid of all this stuff at the bottom too. So you hold your finger screenshot. All right. So we got a bunch of those. So let's swipe down, gets out of this. So I'm back on my homepage. Go to your homepage with the house. Okay. So now we're going to add 
to this story is this little camera up top. The camera's there. Uh, let me get this so you're not looking at the, at the wall. So, all right, so I have, this is the camera live, right? I'll show you guys. That's the photo, you can flip the camera around. And this is how we get access the photo album. You can either swipe up to access your, your photo album or you can tap this little square on the bottom. So this is gonna bring up the last 24 hours. You, if your Instagram accesses your uh, iPhotos, you should be able to go through any albums you have. So if you're organized, you can tap that button, right? So this opens the last 24 hours will change your photo albums. So it'll show you, so I have a Arbon folder where I keep a lot of this story stuff so I can uh, repost it. So let's just go to camera roll. Okay, that's the latest place it was saved. So these are the newest, ah, swipe up. These are the newest ones that we took a screenshot of, right? The reset, the list of the ingredient of what's in the bundle and the uh, ASVP grab your squad. All right, so if you wanna start the story, right? This was the first photo. We click on that and it's gonna load up. Now you can post it just like this because we got a pretty clean screenshot of that. If you wanna add something, there's stickers up here, right? This little post-it note with the flap, let's click that. And it comes up like this. You can post the location, the time, um, you can do a poll, which is fun. Let's do a poll. Who wants in, right? So this is where you can generate a lot of um, interaction with your people who watch you and follow you. So I'm going to type who wants in. Okay. Yes or no. The clever thing to do is do yes and then do heck yes. Right. So that gives them an option of both. Let's show them how, let's see how excited they are. So do done. Now, you can't really see this, right? Let's, all of these stickers, you can zoom in and out and you can twist them all around. So for purpose sakes here, you can't really see the top, right? Don't mind that we're covering this, it's just the, the screen, but I'm gonna hit the marker on the top, okay? I'm gonna, over here is a little, a little zoom that, it, uh, adjust the thickness of your marker. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick a color green and I'm going to, and I'm going to wipe behind here. So this text pops up, right? There we go. Now you can read who wants in and we'll hit done and we can add that to our story down here. There's a setting in your, in your profile where this will add to your Facebook and your Instagram together because they're owned both by Facebook. So they talk to each other. So I have mine linked. When I do this here, it goes right to my Facebook. Um, it goes right to my Facebook story. So let's say you don't like this, right? You messed up with the marker, click the marker. And then in the top left hit undo. And that just does that. So anything you write, if you do one time, two times, three times, you don't like those. Just hit undo, undo, undo. It'll erase every touch. Every time you touch, it's a new set. It's a new save. So you don't like this? You don't like the sticker? Oh, hold on. Undo. Let's hit done. Let's take this thing. You can drag it around. There's a little garbage can that pops up in the bottom when you have your finger on this. So we'll do that into the mount. All right, so let's add that to story. So that went into a story. Now we we'll go back to keep the story going camera swipe up we're gonna add this one all right so this is the asvp bundle now a cool thing to do um click the sticker so let's say you want to do happy just type in happy in the search bar and you'll get everything that's associated or that they think is associated with happy right so we got smiley faces but down in the bottom here is where you get some all the animated things there's always a fun little uh this Disney one is always funny. I always think this one's good. Uh, what's their name? Cinderella? No. Snow White? Whatever her name is. <laughs> so that's a good one, right? Uh, you don't like it? Hold your finger down, drag it into the trash. The other good thing, here's a fun part. Type in Arbon. We have our own. We need a few more. So if anybody gets this up to corporate or home office, we only have like four. 
but these are pretty cool because that's animated, right? So it makes it like a little video. So posty note, um, let's do Oprah. This one's always a fun one. This is one of my favorites. This is like your classic, you get a, you get our bond, you get our bond, you get our bond, right? There's Oprah. So you can drag them around, you can zoom them in and out, and then you can jump them in the trash. All these, every time you use one, um, you can move it around. So let's do that in the trash. Now you like that? Hit that to story. Now let's see, uh, do we, you can check your story here, right? So we added that, it's gonna play 10 seconds, and then it goes to the next one, right? Um, so I'll show you my story from today. So we'll go, oh, hold on. I'm gonna go to here. Now I'm in my story, right? Here, let me show you how I did that. Um, I'm home, I'm in my story, swipe up. Now this is gonna show all the photos I did today. And it shows you, uh, somebody was asking, how do you know who's watching your story? So it says uh, 305 people have viewed my story since this morning. And these are all the people, right? And you can reach out to them and say, you know, you can tick, just click the airplane and right there, the message bars pop up and say, Hey, Sully, I saw you watching my story. Are you interested? You've been following along any, do you, what, can I send you more info? So, um, so here I did a poll today. It was on one of the last screens. So here, I'll take you through my story today. Tap to fast forward. This one is pretty long, but this is with the new bundle with the gel mask. So this is cool. So this is, again, this is like a, it's basically like an old school flip book, right? Where you, you make the cartoon and you're scrolling through. So I did a poll here somewhere on the bottom. There it is. So there's my poll. You want to see who voted on it? Swipe up. And then it says results. Right, so you can see, I did the tricky thing where I did vote one for yes and vote two for yes, but I have questions. So you know they're a little hesitant, but they're interested. So then those people on the bottom who voted, you can direct message them right with the airplane. That little screen will pop up and say, hey, so are you watching my story? You voted, you're interested, can I send you more information? And then we can follow up. So this, again, this is your story. This is how a lot of uh, the gen, Gen Z, the new millennials are um, really engaging with um, their audiences and you have a, have a big reach, right? So I have, this will show you to kind of give you an idea how long, with the longer your story, the, le the less people pay attention, right? So I started with 308 and as the day goes on, you can see the number kind of dwindle. People lose interest, 220, 210, 190, 160. So as, as you get to the end, you know these people are either just really nice friends because they're watching your stuff, they think you're really interesting, or they're interested in the 30-day bundle. So you be the judge. A lot of these are just my everyday friends that are watching my stuff. They like what I'm doing. Most of them are clients, um, and that's kind of that. Um, so that's the story feature. Again, this is your feed. This is kind of your... This is kind of your highlight reel of the week or of the day, right? You put your one picture, or favorite picture from the weekend or with your family or with your friends. This is the stuff that gets people engaged uh, every day. That, and this, again, this is only there for 24 hours. A quick note, if you did a story a month ago and you really enjoyed it and you didn't save it to your phone, so we're in your profile here. Click your face, bottom right. This clock up top left is your archive, okay? So it's gonna pull up everything that you've done since you've been on Instagram or since they made this feature. So you'll see the date here. So if you know it was like something over the summer, you can, uh, hold on. You can grab the date and go back to 
as far back as you like. So you can kind of get a rough estimate of the month that you were in. So say you did something in August. You can go all the way up. Here we go. Now we're in August. It'll show you the dates and then it'll bring up the summer. So stuff like that. So that's your archive. You can pull that up, right? And it's the same exact thing that you posted six months ago. And you can sh uh, share it and send it directly to people, or you can add it again back to your story. Now, another cool thing they just did with these is they made the picture adjustable. So you can really zoom in or, or zoom out. Instagram, you couldn't be able to zoom in. You weren't able to zoom in in the past, but now they've really adjusted. So you can scroll this down and then you can make text up here um, and really engage with your, with your audience that way. So that's kind of the gist of the story. Um, I think that's good. What do you think, Nick? That's great. Thanks, Kevin. I just wanted to add, um, I am a mama on a mission and I also do my, uh, 30 day, like health in a hurry kind of thing. I have two little ones. And if you have a crazy busy schedule, um, this is also a good tip for any of you. I take my photos as my day goes on and I save them and then I use Insta story as like my editor. So I'm going to show you my screen and explain what I mean by that. I, um, I tend to feel like I have over a longer period of time um, because, you know, I have to nurse my baby or I have to help my son and my toddler in the bathroom things come up. And so I don't want to post one picture and then wait 10 minutes and then post another picture because it doesn't make like that continuous story feel. Um, and you'll see that as you, as people start watching your stories um, and you know, they start following you in the Insta stories or the Facebook stories, you know, they want to see like picture after picture because, because, not just one picture doesn't make the story. You need to have multiple, you know, to capture their attention. Um, like Kevin said, sometimes you have 20 photos. Um, sometimes you can have three. I would say like three is a great number to start at. Uh, and you can build your way up. And um, so let me show you. Let me see if I can tell me if, Kevin, tell me if you can see my screen. Okay. Hmm. Kind of hard to go. say. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so so this is my story right now. I am really into adding a little bit something uh, personal with the Arbon stuff as well. And if I click the top corner like he did to start a new one, uh, you're seeing my my living room right here, but. I'm gonna click the picture, just like he had the camera roll, right? So I was doing meal prep all day. I stayed home today, because I can, um, and I did meal prep all day. So my son, John David, and I made 35 chocolate Arbonne pancakes, Ch chocolate shake Arbonne pancakes, we made 35 of them for, hopefully that'll be more than a week, anyway. Um, and we meal prepped lots of vegetables so you could see all my pictures here this is a cool picture here's all the pancakes stacked up okay so I I take pictures throughout the day and um, then I open them up in here and when I have time you know I'm fitting this in all my Arbonne business everything into the nooks and crannies so you know I'll take the picture I'll add a sticker, like I'm going to add pancakes. There's a cute pancake sticker. Um, here it is. It's like I can add like a cute pancake sticker. It's going to turn. You know, and I'm going to type. So I get the words up in the corner. I'm going to write like meal prep day. And 
I'm going to make the words really big because I like them big. So then I press done. Oops. It's going to feel like meal prep day with my pancakes, right? And then at the bottom, I'll do like a hashtag. I'll do like hashtag Arbon pancakes. And there's already one there, so I'm going to click on it. Let's see. Press done. I'm going to put that towards the bottom. I don't know if you can see everything. Okay. So, but I don't want to, I don't want to load it yet and press, you know, pin it to my story on Insta and Facebook yet because I have, I don't have enough time right this minute to do all the photos I want for my story. So I'm going to go in the bottom corner and you see there's save. So I'm going to save. And then it says it's saved. And then I'm going to hit the X in the top corner. Discard. Yes, I'm going to discard. So now I'm back to my living room. Okay. So then I, I'm putting my phone down. I have to go nurse the baby. I've got to go to the grocery store. I, you know, there's all these things that we have to do, right? Um, someone's sitting at work. They put a little, did a little thing on their story. And then, oh, they got to go do something for work. Um, so it's saved into my camera roll now with all the stickers and it's all ready to go. And then when I have a little time later, I'm going to do my, uh, my vegetable meal prep, you know, and I'll, I'll continue to build my story and save each one. And then when I'm ready, like after this call, I will load them all up like Kevin was doing. So that's a tip for, um, if you feel like you don't have time to sit down and do it all in one sitting. Uh, but also with the. Arbon has been now like the one that Kevin started with today with the uh, eye gel masks. That one's from Arbon, I think. I think they made it, or I don't. I don't think a, a consultant made it. I think actually people at Arbon made it, which is really cool. They're going to come out with these photos that are the story size now, so we can have more shortcuts. Remember, our business is all about time leveraging um, and being able to um, follow a system and not have to reinvent the wheel. So they're catching on to all of our social media presence and they want to help us make it simpler for us. So I really love that. Um, but also, you know, be able to put your own unique spin on it. Um, one of my stories today, let me show you at the Nick, end. You want to show them how to change the uh, font and then do the highlight in the background. So there's me with the baby um the font yeah how to change how to change the font on the lettering when you were typing oh some, sure yes some yes, yes. Have the some have the background and some don't get the background you know what i mean yes yes yes, yes five i think like three of them you can highlight in the background and two of them you can't just give them that little run through okay. so i'll i'll fix my next one since you guys are so helpful um so here's, here's a, my meal from tonight. Okay. So if you click, if you click to type, so I'm going to write, um, plant-based goodness, I hope. Yes. Plant-based with a little side of not plant-based, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'm feeding a whole family. So, uh, hey, that's all sometimes right. it's not fully plant-based, but they love, they love the veggies. So hashtag. So I'm going to do a hashtag plant-based. You could see that, right? This is so hard to do while I'm showing you guys. So I'm going to click the middle. So you see it has different fonts, typewriter, neon, uh, classic. So that one, how you scroll down to change the size now on the left when that pops yeah. up. So I'm going to go, I'm going to scroll it down. So plant-based is in one line. And then with classic, you can highlight, oops. Oops, 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 sorry about that. So I'm gonna hit highlight. So now it pops out and I'm, I'm gonna change the color too. At the bottom here is the color. And you know, I use, I use green a lot, obviously, Arbonne green, those subliminal messages. Uh, I like to use Arbonne green. And then I'm gonna press done. I'm gonna move that to the top this time. Last time I had my hashtag at the bottom. 
So this time I'm gonna have my hashtag at the top. I like to be a little bit, um, change it up a little bit. And then I can also, I can write um, din din time, cause I'm gonna be funny, or I think I am funny. Ha! Uh, I'm gonna change it from classic, there's modern. Oh, I'm gonna use the um, neon. That one's fun. Neon. And now I'm going to go to red because I actually, my, my tablecloth has like holiday stuff on it. So I'm going to make this one red and I'm going to press done. I'm going to put it down here and you can't really see it. So I'm going to use Kevin's tip with the, uh, the marker. I'm going to go back to marker, right? And I'm going to use black. Oh, it's not thick enough. Hold on. I'm going to slide it. I'm going to slide it up to be really thick. And then I'm going to highlight. And then I'm going to press done. And I'm going to press save. It says saved, it shows you a little pop-up that says it's saved. And then I'm gonna X out of it. Discard, discard. Because I'm not ready to build my story yet. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you was uh, when to post. So, you know, a lot of people talk about if we post three to one, three personal to one Arbon, and at first, when I was doing stories, I was doing them all Arbonne all the time. And I do, excuse me, I do believe that the stories is a better place for our like commercials. People enjoy watching them. We do the polls, like Kevin said, we have people responding. We could see who's watching them. Um, you know, we get to see the stats and I take screenshots of the stats and over, you know, three to five days, I see who's been watching and then I reach out to them. Um, but I think that people will also get tired of watching all Arbonne all the time in the stories too. At, at first it's fun and then it might get a little old. So um, I've been working on either incorporating myself into the story postings or um, you know, in between I'll do like a family series, something about my family um, or a different subject. And the same goes for our regular posting, like Kevin was saying, um, it's like our highlight of the day or of the week, your favorite picture of the day or the week. I love that you said that, Kevin, because Instagram is, the reason Instagram was created was for photographs. And so, you know, we have to be mindful of who the audience is. Like so when someone's on Facebook, they're totally more open to like groups and articles and things like that. But on Instagram, they really love seeing like photos. Um, so I love that you said like the highlight of the day or the week uh, for that. And so I want to show you one of my Insta stories. So like, oh, this was, this was today. Uh, this is with my daughter. So it's like me dancing with my daughter. You know, I added like words to it and stuff like that. She's putting her hands up, dancing to a song. It's really cute. Um, but I think it's really great to incorporate those into our stories too. All right, Kevin, you have anything else? Um, no, I mean, I think that's is good for the basics. I think for most people who are interested, um, we can get into further stuff like you know, the video and stuff on the bottom of the story, like the super zoom, all this stuff down here, we can do that next time is like a further advanced feature where the live is, um, boomerang, all that stuff is kind of just an added bonus. But I think that was pretty good for an over general overview. We got the fonts and the stickers and adding to the story and um, we can build a highlight, I would say next time, probably would be a good idea for people. All right. So thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned. We'll probably do this again very soon.